What is up YouTube? Today I'm coming back at you with another video. Today's video is a Blu-ray slash DVD pickups uh, video. Um, excuse my dog running around. He's, he's not feeling good. He just got back from the vet. But uh, I have a couple different um, things that I picked up for you guys. Uh, I have three movies and I have two anime all on Blu-ray this time. So got quite a bit of different variety here. But um, the first thing that I picked up is actually a movie that I've been meaning to pick up for quite some time. I just never really got around to it. It's a movie that my girlfriend really likes, so that's another reason I picked up. But it's also really cheap, and I just ordered it off Amazon, so... I picked up The Illusionist. This is a really, really good movie if you like movies about magicians and magic and stuff, because that's exactly what this movie's about. It's about, like, Victorian-era magic, and it's got some really good twists to it, and it's... Very, very good. It keeps you on the edge of your seat. Uh, a lot of the times, kind of like a mixture between like a thriller and like a magician movie. And it's it's pretty well done. I definitely recommend it. The cast is really good. I don't really remember the soundtrack too much, so I'm guessing it wasn't the best. But um, I must have enjoyed it because, you know, that's like a key component to a movie for me. So uh, definitely worth checking out for this one. Um, you know, it's really cheap, so definitely worth picking up. Alright, the next movie I picked up is one of the ones I have not seen, because I haven't seen the one in the anime and I haven't seen this movie. But I'm super excited for this movie. I'm probably going to watch it after I'm done filming this video. It's one that I saw the trailers for and wanted to see in theaters, I just never really got around to it, unfortunately. But um, it seems like a really, really good movie, so I, I wanted to pick it up. And that is Life. This movie looks so good. Um, I, it's got a really good cast of people that I really like, and that is Ryan Reynolds, Jake Gyllenhaal. Those are both two actors that I really, really like. Um, it's, it's a sci-fi movie, which I'm a really big fan of sci-fi. It kind of gives me that Event Horizon feel, which I really like that movie, so I'm hoping it can live up to that. But um, I'm not too sure. To, I know it got mixed reviews, but I'm hoping good things from this one. And um, definitely nice. Uh, it's got a nice slip cover to it, which is always a really nice bonus. Alright, the next thing I picked up is one that I saw in theaters, and I'm so excited for this one. I'm a huge fan of the franchise. I really would have liked to get this on Steelbook, but they were all sold out everywhere I went. So, I ended up just getting the normal version, or well, the normal special edition, I guess. And um, I'm really happy to have it, and that is Logan. Um, this is a really, really nice cover art. Number one, just look at that cover art, it's awesome. But it's also got a really unique thing that comes with the Blu-ray release, and that is it comes with something called Logan Noir, and that is the black and white, the entire movie just in black and white, which is really different. I've never seen a movie that does that, so that's really interesting. Um, but it's the best X-Men movie that I've probably seen. It's really, really good. It does require that you've seen a few of the X-Men movies, but it's really, really well done. I, I'm really, really hopeful for the next X-Men movie now, because before this, it was kind of hit or miss. Like, I really liked Days of Futures Past, but I really didn't like Apocalypse. I was kind of disappointed by it. And so I was really skeptical going into this, but this blew away my expectations, and it is such a good movie. Not just for an X-Men movie, just for a superhero movie in general. It's just really, really well done. So, if you're a fan of superhero movies, or you just are looking for a new, good, gritty movie to watch, this is definitely one to check out. Alright, so now we're moving on to anime. Um, I actually have not seen both of these now that I think about it, but I'm super excited to have both of them. So, we'll go with this one first, because this is the one that I actually like planned on buying eventually. And it's a really, really big anime, so I'm super excited to have it. And I picked up... Uh, this is a anime classics edition by Funimation, Steins Gate the Complete Collection. Um, I am super excited for this uh, anime. I've heard a lot of really good things about it, so I'm hoping that it lives up to those expectations. I've got the complete collection on Blu-ray, DVD, combo pack, so um, it's got a really nice art style to it. It's got, you know, that later 2000s art style, which a lot of people really seem to like. But it just, I know it's supposed to be a psychological anime, which is what I'm really looking forward to because I love psychological anime. It's like one of my favorite subgenres of anime. So I'm um, hoping this lives up to the hype. Um, kind, of kind of skeptical though, because I've been let down by hype before in terms of anime. So 
We'll see how this does, but I'm looking forward to that one a lot. I've been recommended that by so many people that I know. And now this next one is one I'm going to watch eventually, just because I'm a huge fan of the franchise. I'm, it's probably my favorite anime franchise ever. And I own mo a lot of the different series in the franchise already. I just, I'm currently working on a different part of the franchise. So I picked up Mobile Suit Gundam, the 8th MS Team. I picked this one up on a whim. Honestly, I got an email one morning saying that Right Stuff was having a sale and that this was half off the Blu-ray. And I was just like, well, half off? That's like $30 for a Gundam Complete Series Blu-ray. I'm like, I have to get that. I just have to get it. So I ended up ordering a copy of it and it came really fast. Even for Right Stuff, it came super fast, like in two or three days, which is insane for Right Stuff shipping. But um, yeah, I'm really excited to get this. I've one of my friends has watched this and says it's his favorite Gundam. Uh, I've seen a lot of the Gundam franchise much more than he has, so I don't know, it might be. But um, I, I know that this is supposed to be a different take on the Gundam franchise where it takes place in the one, it takes place during the One Year War, but it also takes place from the point of view of like the soldiers, like just normal soldiers in your grunt mobile suits. And so it's supposed to be a pretty unique take, sort of like how War in the Pocket is, but more focus on grunt suits rather than um, the characters, which is kind of cool. Um, I'm definitely looking forward to the animation. The animation looks really good. Now, I've heard some mixed things about the dub, which I do prefer to watch Gundam dubbed. I don't know why, I just like watching all of my Gundam dubbed if possible. Not that I have a problem with subbed anime, and actually sometimes I prefer it, but I like watching Gundam dub, but I've heard that this is a not so great dub because this is one of the first three anime, one of the first three Gundam anime dubbed, and it was dubbed in 1999 with the VHS release of the Gundam Mobile Suit Trilogy, which was awful if you've ever seen that dub. But this is supposed to be on par with that, so I'm kind of skeptical. I might watch this one in Japanese, might watch this one in English. We'll try out both and see what happens. But if they pronounce like some things differently, like I know that um, in the original uh, Gundam movie dub, they per they don't say Zaku's, they say Zax, and they say Jaburo weird. They say I don't know how to pronounce it in the movie, but I know they say Jaburo really weird. So hopefully it's not like that, but we'll see. I'm excited nonetheless because it's Gundam. So yeah, that's everything that I picked up. Uh, I got just you know some normal, some good stuff, some a lot of new stuff surprisingly. Um, in terms of movies at least. And um, yeah, so let me know what you guys think in the comment box below. I try to watch everything that I pick up, which I'm going to watch Life After This, so I'm gonna watch that in, in a little bit. But I've seen the, those other two movies and um, I'm excited for the anime. Anime is hard to watch as I pick it up just because it's long, but um, it's whatever. So let me know if you have any re recommendations in the comment box below. I try to check out all those and I've pretty much watched every recommendation you guys have had. Um, I know I have another pickups for DVDs and anime related stuff. I just didn't have it with me because I left it at my girlfriend's house and unfortunately I just left it there. Um, but I do have some more DVDs that I'm going to do a video for later. But that's everything I have for you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.